Hi, Supercers here, back with another Factorio++ Plus Plus video, episode 6. And you can see, well, first I forgot to do that somehow, so yay. But what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get even more coal than I already have. The reason for this is because, um, because I'm going to need more power. And this means I'm going to need more steam engines. Right now I am low on power. As you can see here, it's yellow, which means that I'm not producing enough power to satisfy everything. So that, that means I need more boilers and more steam engines. I probably want to triple it at this point, which, yeah, that isn't too bad. All I need is um, it's two boilers and then um, um, four steam engines. So... I can make two already, I can now make three, and it shouldn't be too hard to make that fourth. I probably also, I also need a few pipes. So, just like this, here's here's one, and then get, uh, I think it's just one pipe is all I need. So what, what the plan is here is to do this. Um, now get these two steam engines going, put an inserter here, and uh, put, I'm going to do it like this because it's sort of hard to get the electric poles um, to fit otherwise. So, yeah, I'm going to do it like this. Get these two steam engines. Um, get two pipes going. Uh, I actually need a little more. I need a few more. No, it's not that. It's because these two steam engines are not even connected some reason so now now it's gonna work and maybe I can even get a couple more inserters like this so now see um, I was I need I need about 2.2 megawatts I was making only about 1.8 megawatts but now I'm making 5.8 megawatts so that is one problem solved uh, now need to um, get some other logistical challenges completed. So right now you could s um, at the end of last episode I um, got some I got some assembly machines going to make some iron gear wheels. The thing is that that's just the beginning. I'm gonna need to make a lot more than that. Um, I need to make okay right now I'm low on copper so I can just grab it from this belt. The first thing I'm gonna do actually there's a couple things I'm gonna do. I know. I, I there's just there's so much to do in this game, um, but the first thing I mean maybe I can, um, I I will have leave leave space to make more iron gears out out of this. Um, I probably should have like done like a splitter um, thing here again. This is why I leave room. Um, I mean this isn't really all that. Like, all that crucial at this point of the game, but later on, this will become a lot more crucial. And, yeah, this isn't even the main thing I'm going for. Um, I can just leave that alone right now, because it's going to be a far more important thing to get right now. And also, actually, I didn't even place these correctly. I placed them in the road. Yeah, so you can see, I'm not, I'm not, I'm sometimes not the smartest when it comes to stuff like this. Um, I will probably move this off camera. Here's heavy armor finish. So next thing I want to do is probably, honestly, green science. Which, um, yeah, that's going to become very important soon. Okay, I've revamped the design. Um, the reason why I'm doing it on both sides instead of just one this time around is because this will get the iron gear wheels on both lanes. Of the belt which I think is pretty neat to have so the next thing I want to make is gonna be even crazier than like iron iron gear wheels is very simple just one input and one output um, now I'm gonna try to automate green circuits so this needs two inputs and one of the inputs is another is something you craft so, yeah, you can see how that's um, 
considerably more complicated than before. I'm also going to grab some more iron here. So first, I'm just going to expand the bus lanes. Again, I will be I will be doing this a lot. Um, it needs a lot of belts, as you can see. Probably should be just crafting these belts like this. And Now, I'm even going to get a fourth lane of, of, or fourth set of four lanes going. This will be the lanes that hold the green circuits because I'm going to be using a lot, and I mean a lot, of green circuits like th throughout this, like, entire series. So, this is why I am, I'm actually devoting two lanes for it. The only materials I'm, gonna, I'm devoting more than one lane for is iron, which is three lanes, copper, which is two lanes, and green circuits, which is also two lanes. So, yeah, that's it's pretty pretty crazy. Um, I mean, it, also the later materials are hard to make. Um, maybe not the modded ones. I have no idea what the modded ones are like, and I'm probably not even going to get to the modded ones until I at least get quite a bit farther into the game. So, I'm also going to need more underground belts. What I currently have is not enough. So, at this point, I can probably just put the input right next, like for the green circuits, right next to the input for the iron gear wheels. So, I'll be doing essentially the same thing where I, the reason why I cross over this is this is essentially going to be a road. So, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want the road to be... Um, to be blocked. Maybe I should get rid of these wooden chests as well. That was just a marker and this belt. Um, so essentially, what's gonna what I'm gonna do here is I will um, uh, get some copper from here and put into here. I will also need to grab some iron. So I, I will need to again do another underground belt. But first, I want to place down some assembling machines. And I'll do it right here. So, again, I, I don't know a lot of ratios in this game, but I know a crucial few. And I know this is one of them. Um, it's three to two here. Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to craft copper wire using this. Um, and then I'll be getting two more assembling machines like this. And what's interesting, I will put, I'll use this output to go here, this output to go here, but then this middle one will be evenly divided between the two. And this allows, like, doing two splitters like this is, will evenly divide them between the two, which is really nice. So now I'm going to get green circuits. So, the thing is, I'm not done, because I also need iron. But, I think I first just want to get an output going. Because, my strategy for this is, um, to, it's, it's, it's essentially get iron right here. And, you may be asking, um, or, uh, you can just see, I'll, these, this will be the belts. Um. It's, it's going to look really weird, but I, I like compact, almost spaghetti-like designs. So, yeah, I need to, I also need more splitter, or not splitters, inserters. And I'm probably just out of one of these materials, so you get that. So, what I'm going to do, do this and this, and then get long head inserters, or what I call lanky inserters, um, like this. I Actually, not like that. I can do it, I do it like this. So again, it just needs another electric pole. This will be grabbing iron, and this is where the iron will come from. I will, um, I need to um, do an underground belt here, and this will allow me to grab some iron, and now I will be making green circuits once the iron gets here. So yeah, that's gonna be very useful because I use green circuits a lot of places, so. 
Yeah, it's, it's not just gonna be, um, yeah. So now I'm just gonna bring it all, all the way over to the, um, to the green circuit belt. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it like this. Um, it's gonna, it's gonna look a little complicated, but, um, it's, act, it's actually these two lanes, at least from here on out, are gonna literally be going the opposite way. Um, which I, I have done a couple of other times um, with commonly used resources like this. For some reason I can't place a splitter. I can, now I can do it. So now I just gotta get these going the other way, like this. And yeah, I can just get rid of these two. And now I'll have a bunch of green circuits. So you may be asking, uh, well, you, okay, now I've automated all those items, but what are they really going to do? And this is where this part, or the next part of this will be. And this is going to be auto crafting science packs. I'm going to do this for not only red science, but also green science. So you can see for red science, I already have both of the materials I need. I, there's iron gear wheels and there are, um, green circuits or not green circuits copper plates that's all i need so i will i will do that i will need some more assembling machines um something i, I will do is just um, make a setup for when i will eventually be using like be getting more green circuits because what i'm doing right now it's good for now but it will not be good later on because I'm just going to need more of everything in Factorio. It's, Factorio is all about that. So, um, yeah, I probably I probably could just split it off of here. Okay, I finished researching the green science, which is going to be very useful for um, a lot of things. At this point, I probably... There's a bunch of modded stuff that I could do, but instead I'm just going to get something that is used in the vanilla game at this point i'm, I'm gonna almost ignore modded stuff with the green circuits i do have i can actually grab them like this and now i can make inserters a lot faster especially if i get the iron gear gear wheels like this i can do the same for lanky inserters um i don't i don't need that many so yeah that's that just do it like this and um, I, again i will need to split the iron um i could probably just do like this we'll need more underground belts and more splitters but it, they're gonna be a lot quicker to make so that's very nice honestly maybe i'll just be it's, it's already like fully set up i can just get it operational at this point um it's gonna it's gonna be maybe fast way faster than i need it for now but um later on i i, I think this is a recurring theme with this I just need more of everything and actually this is where I can connect this and yeah now I have doubled the production of green circuits now looking at the map you can see look at the pollution here it's almost hitting this spider base especially with like all the green circuits that I'm making it's also hitting a couple of other biter bases like this one um, but this one's just Actually, it's already hitting this one, so that's not very good. Um, I'm definitely going to need more ammo and everything, so I'm just going to do a, a little bit of a biter clearing spree at this point. So I just need to get some ammo first. And this is where I should make heavy armor, um, because now I can, I can make it. I just need some steel, which is um, over near my smelting, and... Yeah, you can just see, um, this is incomplete right now. Um, I can probably just do, can, can I control? I can't even control, control click. I don't think I, oh, I have enough steel. So yeah, I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get all the ammo I've made. It's hopefully a lot, I hope. Um, uh, it's not a lot. I was hoping for more. Maybe I can just craft it myself because I have to walk all the way down, so. Okay, now after walking down, you can see how much ammo I am making. So, yeah, just let's let's clear the spider base. 
shouldn't be too bad, especially with the heavy armor. The worms are a really annoying threat to deal with. You can see, I lose health quick, even with heavy armor. Um, and, yeah, I, I can use fish to, um, to heal myself. Mem remember that. That's very useful. It's really hard because the poison is camouflaged with just anything else. Uh, come on, let's do this. And okay, one more worm. One more worm. Oh, no, no. We still need two. Okay. I should be safe now because um, without the worms, just a spider base like this is extremely easy to defeat. Especially when there's a cliff between me and... Uh, Okay, there we go. So, now I can, I could try to, yeah, I, I will now focus my efforts on the southern biter bases, or this is still like northern, northern US, but whatever. Um, it will take a while to walk, unfortunately. Um, there will be better methods of transportation later on, but it's going to be later on, so... Yeah, at least I can cross the St. Lawrence River for the first time. That's actually pretty exciting. Okay, here is the biter base. Um, a lot of biters, but no worms. Or a few worms. Um, you can see there's a lot of biters, and uh, but I think the lack of worms is just going to make this... A pretty easy fight. Um, like, even though it takes forever to clear these, these can make more ammo. Okay, there we go. Um, biter race complete, and I did get a little bit carried away in exploring because I wanted to see, like, the Gulf of Maine. So. Yeah, that's why. Um, so now I gotta take the, the, that little tiny biter base that's sort of on the... Uh, I, I'm not sure what it's called because I don't live in Canada. So, um, I mean, I, I, it's not that... I don't, I'm not even sure if it's a base. No, it's just two worms. That's literally it. It can't even attack me. Um, but I don't want... Come on, get the fish going. Okay, defeated. That was not bad at all. Maybe I should just try to get one more chunk here because this, I mean, I can go almost to Newfoundland from here. Okay, maybe not Newfoundland. That's a, li that's a little far, but at least we can see what is on the edge of the coast here and the map isn't even updating. Um, yeah, that's... Pretty, pretty, pretty special. <laughs> I don't know. I, I like to get carried away and exploring. But anyway, next episode, I'm really going to start automating science. And this is going to be crucial for the rest of the game. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.